Would you like a drink? Uh, yeah. What you have? Let's see. I have Bacardi and vodka. Okay. I'll take some uh, Bacardi. Okay. Coming right up. So, you're a writer, huh? That will be me. <laughs> All right, what genre and how many? Okay. Well, I've written six so far, and they're urban and romance novels. Hmm. Sweet. Okay. So, you're beautiful and intelligent, is I see. One could say that. <laughs> By the way, thanks for the compliment. Oh, no problem. It's well deserved. So, how old is your daughter? She's four, right? Um, yeah, she is. I love my baby girl. <laughs> Do you want any more? Yeah, I'm open to it, but it'll be definitely after I marry her. I understand that. How many more do you want? Two or three. Three at the max. I don't want a football team, though. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I myself want one. Maybe two. So what about marriage? Do you have a timeline? Uh, I really don't have one, to be honest. But, you know, when you know, you know. But, can I use your restroom? Of course you can. It's right down the hallway to the right. <laughs> Would you like me to refill your drink? Yeah, that's fine. I'll take one more. Just one more? You've been a party pooper. The party just gets started. So, where were we? Marriage? I believe so. Well, I think that everyone should have a timeline. Oh, really? I need to hear about this timeline. <laughs> <laughs> That's simple. Mm, we're dating for the first two months. We can get serious into a relationship after two months of dating. <laughs> within a year engaged. <laughs> and by year two, we can be married. Cardi is strong. <laughs> yeah, you should probably slow down. I don't know. I think, I think I need to lay down or something. Well, how about we just continue this in the bedroom? Yeah, I think I need to, I think I do need to lay down, seriously. Well, I can help you relax. I promise.
Good morning, sleepyhead. I see someone is not a morning person. I don't remember. What happened? What happened last night? Um, have a seat. Looks like you need some coffee. No, I don't. I just don't remember. <sighs> I made us breakfast. Charlie, tell me what happened. How soon do you forget? Uh, forget what? Well, what we did last night. Well, what we did a few times last night. I don't remember none of that. Everything was a blur. Wait. Did you put something in my drink? I mean, I was having a good time. You were having a good time. I just sped up the process. So you did drug me, and you raped me. <laughs> what? Women cannot rape men. That's exactly what you did. Why would you drug me then? What happened was not consensual. It was consensual in a sense. I mean, you did come back to my place, right? Yes, but drinks and conversation. We never spoke about anything else. You are truly making a big deal out of nothing. You should truly be happy right about now. Like, I'm confused. I'm not confused at all. You drove me and raped me. Then you acting like it's nothing. I just don't understand the problem. Let me help you understand. I'm about to go to the hospital because I'm getting a headache from whatever you gave me. It's killing me. And then I'm going to file a police report on you. You're going to go to the police. <laughs> They're not going to believe you. Yeah, we'll see about that and do not ever contact me again. Drayton. Drayton. Drayton! The moral of the story is, just because you are a woman, it does not exempt you from still needing to ask for consent. Drugging and raping a person will cause you to end up in jail.